Hi, Mike from runfiz.com. Thank you for watching today's video. Please consider subscribing to the blog so that way you don't miss any of these videos emailed directly to you to help you become a better runner and decrease your likelihood of having injuries. Now today's video is on a small and rather obscure and mostly misunderstood muscle known as your peroneus longus. Now your peroneus longus is a long skinny muscle that runs along the outside of your lower leg. And it has two partners in crime known as your peroneus brevis and peroneus tertius. Now there's not going to be any quizzes on those names or anything, but it, like I said, it's a misunderstood muscle group and it's something that's a very, very important muscle group when it comes to running. And I want to shed some light on that today as well as show you some exercises you can do if you're suspicious that this is an issue for you. Now those three muscles collectively are everters of your foot. So if this is your right foot, what an everter does is it kicks your foot out to the side. Now out in space, that's what the muscles do. But when it comes to running, those muscles become very critical because that's, that's where your ability to keep your foot on the ground when your foot is planted comes from. And more specifically, as your foot hits the ground, what you need is to be able to get good drive onto your big toe, so that way you can get a good strong push off. And those three muscles are the main ones responsible for that. So if your muscles are strong, as your foot hits the ground, you very quickly get to loading the big toe, which allows the big toe to get a good strong push off. If those muscles are weak, then what can often happen is as you load onto it, your foot will load too far because those muscles are not controlling your big toe and that way you don't get a very strong push off. Sometimes you can over pronate, which can be a very uh, direct cause for shin splints, forefoot pain, as well as pain in the lateral ankle. Now it's very common also if you've sprained your ankle, or rolled your ankle, uh, multiple times that these muscles can be kind of chronically weakened. In which case the exercises I'm going to show you today can be very very helpful in rehabilitating those muscles and restoring better mechanics of your foot. So the first exercise that I'm going to show you is a single leg balance drill. What you do is you balance on one leg and with that knee you're going to do some knee dips towards the inside. So if you're balancing on your left leg, you're going to just simply drive that knee towards the middle. And what that does is it forces your muscles of your medial foot to stabilize so that way you don't lose your balance and don't over pronate. And that peroneus longus muscle, because of where it attaches along the medial arch of your foot, is a very active muscle during this exercise. So you can do that 20 to 30 times. And what you should feel is that your foot is working hard, as well as you should feel some activation of the uh, outer part of your lower leg as well. Now the second exercise is again another one to strengthen the muscles in the context of getting good contact with your big toe on the ground. So what you'll do is you'll simply stand, you're going to put some uh, TheraBand around your knees if you have it, and you're going to raise your pinky toes up off the ground and you're going to take some little baby steps back and forth keeping your knees from dipping inward but also keeping your pinky toes up off the ground. You're going to go back and forth like that for 30 seconds to a minute and again what you should feel is that the muscles on the outside of your lower legs are really working hard and engaging and that the muscles of your big toe are also working hard. Those are very very good signs that you're using your muscles correctly. Now lastly, you're going to do an exercise to directly strengthen the peroneus longus as well as some of the intrinsic muscles of your foot by using some sort of a, a rocker board setup. So you can use a, a half roller if you have that or if you also have a rocker board which I can include some links to examples uh, in the blog notes. Or you can come up with your own, uh, your own uh, setup at home using some sort of a dowel, using a piece of plywood or some other board that you may have. What you'll do is you'll set it up so your foot is angled at about 20 to 30 degrees from the direction of the movement. And you're going to get into a single leg position and you're going to simply do calf raises in that position using the rocker board as your fulcrum. 
And so you'll do that on both feet, again in a single leg position, and the leg that's not on the board, that's hanging out in space, is going to hang out across your body as shown. And you can certainly hold on with a hand if you need balance as well. You can do that 20 to 30 times as well to help fire up the key muscles, including that peroneus longus. So those are three examples of exercises that you can do to help strengthen this misunderstood muscle. Again, it's very common to have weakness in that muscle, but not have that be the area of pain, but have it be an underlying factor for shin pain, ankle pain, as well as forefoot pain. When that muscle is working well, it creates good contact for your big toe to get under the ground so you can get a good strong push off while you run. Very, very important element to running. So I hope you find that helpful. Again, please subscribe to the blog. Please share that with a friend if you know someone who may find that helpful. Enjoy, have fun, run fast, friends.